Hello Android developers! My name is Mohsen and I'm back with another Android developer tips video about Kotlin functional interfaces, also known as SAM. Kotlin language is known for writing concise and readable code and one of the features that makes this possible is lambda expressions. For those who may not have heard about lambda expressions, it is an immediate way of passing functions without declaring them. This way, instead of creating a class that implements a functional interface manually, you can use a lambda expression. An interface with only one abstract method is called functional interface, or a SAM interface. SAM stands for Single Abstract Method. The functional interface can have several non-abstract members, but only one abstract member. Based on Kotlin documentation, with a SAM conversion, Kotlin can convert any lambda expression whose signature matches the signature of the interface's single method into the code which dynamically instantiates the interface implementation. Interestingly, in Kotlin, all Java single method interfaces are accessible with SAM conversion, and you can use a lambda expression to implement them. For instance, an Android view on click listener. However, the Kotlin version of your interfaces should mention the font keyword to inform Kotlin that it is a SAM conversion and the client can pass a lambda instead of a declaration. In this example Android app, I have a custom view which consists of an edit text for input and a button to save. In the custom view code, I have defined an interface called unsave click listener to capture the unsave button click and inform the outside world that someone clicked on this button. And inside my fragment, I'm setting this unsave listener and firing a toast containing the input I received from the custom view. As you can see, I have two options, creating a class that implement that interface or passing the interface implementation as an anonymous object. This interface has only a single abstract function, but Kotlin doesn't apply the SAM convention. To inform Kotlin that this is a functional interface, you have to add a font before the interface keyword. After this change, you can see that IDE is also suggesting that you can convert this object into a lambda expression. Keep in mind that the functional interfaces in Kotlin can and must only have one abstract function, but you can have other non-abstract functions that may help with your feature implementation. The last note is that by using the Kotlin invoke operator function, you can get rid of calling the interface function and instead use parentheses on the interface parameter. That's it. Make sure not to miss my interviews with Android Community Active members. In those interviews, you will find answers to your questions about their life and work style. They are also available as podcast version, so you only have to search for the Android developer tips in your favorite podcast application. I hope you enjoyed this tip and keep using it inside your code and have a nice and concise code. 
I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you are interested in Android development tips and hit the bell button to get notified whenever there is a new video. Bye!